Hello, this is Maggie. Today I'm doing the chart of Harry Styles. Uh, yeah, I just was inspired to do his chart because I love that song, It's a Sign of the Times. And I was just listening to it, and it always sounds apocalyptic to me. So, uh, yeah, I checked out the artist, and of course it was him, so I had to look. I had to look. Beautiful, beautiful voice. Harry Styles was born um, February 1st, 1994, in Redditch, England, at 006 a.m. Yeah, around midnight. So he has everything on the lower hemisphere of his chart by the IC. So I'll, I'll just start with his son. His son and Venus are conjunct in Libra. So that gives him good luck. Beautiful voice, um, probably a very nice home as well. It's in his fourth house of Libra. So that's harmony. Sun Venus is harmony. Um, his ascendant is Scorpio. He has incredible air. Oh, sorry, his ascendant is Libra. And he has the moon in the 12th house in Libra. So that is good looks. Uh, the arts, music, um, pleasant, beautiful voice. Yeah, Libra's, Libra's, plus it's in the 12th house of Pisces, and Pisces is very, very musical. And uh, yeah, he, this, he's all air. <laughs> he is all air. He's very much an Aquarian. His son is Aquarius, sun conjunct Venus. I, I didn't even tell you what sign it was in. Sun conjunct Venus in Aquarius, and they're trining his moon in Libra. It's like he was just an instant hit through the through his through the arts, through his through the airwaves, through his voice, his beautiful voice, through music. Moon in Libra would do music, and um, yeah. So the Sun conjunct Venus. Uh, he was in a group. <laughs> he was in a, a group, One Direction. So that would be the group. And he had good luck with that. From there, he went on probably as a solo artist. But my that's my favorite song, The Sign of the Times. Um, yeah, so Jupiter and Scorpio. Oh, my God. That's his magnetic attraction with women, you know, with everyone. It's good luck. It's good fortune. Um, Jupiter is 13 degrees Scorpio, so he has that in the first house of his personality, so that was really a draw. Plus, Pluto, the ruler of Scorpio, is also there. It's also there. It's, um, yeah, it's in dominion in Scorpio because it is the ruler. So that's like, that's like double power exploded. I mean, and he, he did explode pretty much in his, you know, career with One Direction and everything. So basically the, the powerful magnetic attraction of Pluto in Scorpio was magnified by Jupiter. Good luck, expect, good luck planet, the great benefic and expansion. So it expanded his personality, his magnetic a sex appeal, and so people saw that right away and signed him, you know, or yeah, whatever his story is. His north node is uh, in the second house in Sagittarius, so yeah, international acclaim, international acclaim, and it's his um, asset house, material assets, so he made a ton of money through Touring, you know, touring and, and also Sagittarius is publishing, publishing, copyright law, you know, recording. Um, yeah, so he, his North Node, he was meant to make money, um, maybe in foreign lands, you know. Uh, yeah, so through his magnetism, because Pluto, Jupiter, Pluto and Jupiter in Scorpio is a powerful magnetism, along with his beautiful, pleasant voice, 
which would be Luna, 12th house, Libra, because it colors it Pisces, and yeah, Sun, the Sun, Venus connection in Aquarius, every, everybody would like him. You know, when you have Venus so close to your sun, Venus is what you like, or it just makes you, like, attractive. Attractive. It's what you like, and it makes makes you a very attractive personality. So, you know, people saw that in him right away, along with the dynamic first house power, Scorpio power that he had. Um, yeah, so, but his ascendant is Lib Libra. His ascendant is Libra. So again, that would be his good luck, good looks, his voice, his pleasant manner. But then he kind of hits you with the Scorpio first house, first house Scorpio. And then the conglomeration of the rest of his planets are all in Capricorn and Aquarius. So um, Aquarius is the airwave, so he has Mercury, the planet of communication, and Saturn. Mercury Mercury is 29 degrees, critical degree, Aquarius, and Saturn is, Saturn is actually in Pisces, zero degrees, so that's, um, that's music, a disciplined career in music, um, but it looks like a conjunction. Mercury Saturn conjunction. He um, became a professional right away in the mus musical career from a very young age. So, um, and Pisces is all about the arts and Mercury's communication. Saturn is endurance, uh, discipline, sometimes hardship, um, separation. But he has Saturn squaring, squaring Pluto. So Saturn square Pluto, uh, yeah, can, that's a, kind of a diff difficult square, very, very, very difficult square. So what he did with that, you know, I don't know. There could have been some kind of a, but some kind of separation or hardship or. Um, something went on regarding communication, maybe a breakup, you know, with the band, or I don't know. I don't know what it was, but uh, it just seems like power struggle, a power struggle. That's kind of what it looks like through communication. But uh, it could also be power drive, you know. It could have driven him more powerfully to to communicate, you know through his uh, Mercury. I don't know if he writes music or not, but uh, yeah. So Saturn is just sitting right on top of Mercury in Pisces. Although Saturn's in Pisces and Mercury is in technically in Aquarius, but it's a conjunction. It's a conjunction because, <laughs> because, uh, yeah, Mercury's 29 degrees. It's, yeah, it's it's really tight, really tight orb. So, yeah, and moving on, he's got everything else in Capricorn. It's like, yeah, it's like Capricorn is achievement. It's in the third house of communication. It's Gemini's house. So Capricorn is, you know, a career achievement, you know, practicality, steadfastness. So it's in his communication house. He has Uranus, the ruler of Aquarius, his ruler, his ruler of Aquarius uh, in Capricorn. So he was meant to achieve through the airwaves, through music, because Neptune is the ruler of Pisces. And Pisces would be music. And he has his moon in 12th house Pisces, but it's in Libra. So... Uh, yeah, so it all comes together really beautifully for him. Just really, really beautifully. But this conjunction, oh my gosh, it's like four planets involved. It's, it's Sun, Venus, Mars. His Mars is Mars is uh, two degrees Aquarius. He's like a super Aquarian. So everybody would like him because Aquarians are likable anyway. They, they kind of 
want to be friends with everyone. Frequently, they, they are part of a group. Um, yeah, so he was in a group. Um, yeah, so Venus and Mars, that's powers of attraction right there. Venus, Mars, and the Sun, all in Aquarius. <laughs> that is a lot. That is a lot. Plus, I think he had one more. I think he had, uh, yeah, he had Mercury, one of them. Venus. Venus, Mars, and, oh, the Sun. Venus, Sun. I guess I was thinking of Mercury. Mercury and Saturn. One of them was right. Saturn was in Pisces. Mercury, yeah, Mercury. Sorry about that. Mercury is in Aquarius. So that's this huge con conjunction between four planets, at least. Four planets. So that's, yeah, it's powers of attraction, initiative, Mars is passion, drive, initiative, power. It's the ruler of Aries and Scorpio. So, you know, and Venus and Mars together along with um, Mercury, communication, and his son, his presence. It's, it's pretty good, positive, positive for him. But he's just got kind of incredible air, incredible air. So I went through his whole wheel already because they're all just in pretty much in the fourth house, third house of communication, and that enhanced his career. You know, Uranus put him on the airwaves and Neptune gave him a musical career in his house of communication in Capricorn. And um, so his only fire is the midheaven, but that's in Leo. And so Leo made him a star. Although he has absolutely no planets up there, um, it still is an angle. It's the midheaven. So he had um, a create creative career as an artist, as an artist. Um, that's his only fire, but it's pretty strong fire. Yeah, it really, really helped him, along with the magnetic, you know, sun, Venus, and all, all those things. But his air is massive, massive air, massive air. He has sun, he has, sorry, moon and ascendant in Libra. Moon ascendant in Libra. It's a beautiful, beautiful voice. Beautiful voice, probably has dimples. <laughs> uh, good looking as a role. Uh, and loving the arts, you know, some, some form of the arts. Or if you're not in the arts, then appreciating them. Uh, harmony, beauty, you know. Venus is the ruler of... of uh, Venus is his ruler, and his Venus is in Aquarius, so along with his son, so that made him very attractive. And they're trining, they're trining, <laughs> they're trining, which means they're in the same element, so he's all air. I mean, all his Aquarius, stellium in the air, his four planets in Aquarius are trining his ascendant and moon, so that's it's almost like a double, double, uh, double Libra. Almost like a double Libra, but his ascendant is Libra and his moon is Libra, but his sun is Aquarius. <laughs> Very interesting chart. Anyway, I'm trying to get through his air. So he has moon, ascendant, and Libra, and everything else in Aquarius. That's air. Libra is cardinal air, and Aquarius is fixed air. So it's very uh, sort of opinionated. It's It's opinionated you know it's fixed stubborn kind of like Taurus so it's the fixed air so he has Sun Mercury Venus and Mars so he has six planets in air two planets in Earth but they're in Capricorn that helped to drive him to the top through his communication skills and it was probably sudden and unexpected because Uranus is erratic, sudden, unexpected liberation. 
and Neptune would be through music. And so that was his Earth. You know, it's probably like he got discovered and then bam, it was on water. His water is uh, Jupiter, Pluto, and the North Node, all in Scorpio. That is one powerful magnetic attraction. Yeah, <clears throat> no wonder, no wonder he blew up, you know. That, that is a very, very powerful attraction and joint assets. So, yeah, joint assets and the North Node. So he was meant to put his imprint through his personality and, you know, it made him a ton of money. Joint resources probably for everyone, you know, that surrounded him. Um, but that is, that is powerful magnetic attraction. So that colors him, Scorpio. Although it's not technically his ascendant, but it's all, all up in his first house. So he, he presents. He presents Scorpio and Libra. And then, Aquari then, Aquari <laughs> then Aquarius. Yeah, it's a very interesting chart. So, yeah, that's his first house. He, he really presents that. And then Saturn, Saturn, <coughs> excuse me, Saturn is the ruler of, uh, he's got another ruler. Wow. Saturn is the ruler of, of Aquarius and Capricorn. So that's kind of a mutual reception there, too. And he, he has that in conjunct with Mercury. So anyway, that was his Earth, his four things in Earth. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.